Hi all and once again welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guide for APT where we're going to take a quick look today at the object calculator. Hopefully this will only be a very short video so we're going to get straight into it. So the first thing you'll notice today is the new colour scheme I'm using. I've had some feedback that the default orange of APT isn't working too well for some people and hopefully this thing will make it a bit easier along with the new trick I learnt today. So let me know if this is better or not and uh, I'll see what I can do if I need to change it again. But uh, back to today's subject which is the object calculator and you'll find that at the bottom of your tools tab. Uh, it's only a small part of APT but uh, it is a vital part to get correct. Now if you take a look at it here um, it's vital simply because if you get the settings wrong in here then uh, things like plate solving won't work and if plate solving doesn't work you're going to fail on things like automatic meridian flips. So it's important to get this right. And at the top of it here you have your camera. Uh, generally you won't need to touch this at all. Uh, APT will automatically detect your camera and put the right camera up there. It has a database of uh, of Canon and, and DS, Canon and Nikon DSLRs in there that you can use and what you can do if you wish is you can select a different camera in here and compare the size of an object on your sensor or whatever um, if you want to do it that way. I prefer doing that in a planetarium because I've got mine set up with all my different cameras and lenses and telescopes so it works for me in there. The next part you have underneath is this line here, the focal length, this is going to be the most important one. Uh, scope diameter is not so important, but it is the focal length. Now, focal length is what will determine your uh, field of view and everything. So it's what needs to be right for plate solving to work. And when you do this, you need to take into account anything you have connected that alters the focal length. So my 102mm is an F7, so it's normally 714mm, but I have a 0.8 reducer on it. And technically the 0.8 takes it back to 571mm, but I do know from use that when I do a plate solve, it'll actually report it between about 559 and 561. So 560 is about right. Um, as long as you're very close on your setting in here, it won't be too bad at all. But in here, like I said, you set your focal length and your scope diameter if you wish. But uh, if you go to the three buttons just beside it, click on that, you can actually save different profiles. So I'm going to add a new one here. Uh, so this will be my 102 oops, nm millimeter. Uh, let's see, at 560 millimeter. And then you just fill in your focal length and diameter. Uh, 560 the diameter is 102 click save and now that becomes part of a drop down list for you up there and click OK and now I can add others to, that I have and you can just come in when you change your scope uh, and pick one from your drop down list personally I prefer setting a different profile for each focal length simply because I don't like forgetting to come in here and change it and having things fail on me now if you're using the simple setup of a Canon or Nikon with a supported lens that reports its focal length to the camera, um, you can use the, the uh, detect focal length setting on the advanced tab in your settings and it will automatically fill this in once you take a first image. Um, so once you take a, a focusing image or whatever, it will fill in the focal length uh, automatically, which is what makes it so easy and such a simple setup for APT. Uh, but that only works with a Canon and Nikon with a camera lens. Uh, if you're using your Canon or Nikon with a uh, telescope, you need to set it in here and be sure to turn off the auto detect focal length in the advanced settings simply because if you leave it turned on, um, it will screw this up because it'll try and figure out a focal length that it can't do. So just remember that uh, camera and lens, automatic, uh, camera and telescope, manual. Okay, just to let you know. Now the object size one here, this is simply in arc minutes uh, the size of the object on your, on your sensor. So if you go in somewhere like into the object browser um, and select, uh, oh, what am I going to select? Uh, I'll get back in here. Um, the Orion Nebula, say that. So I can do show in 
and there it is centered in there and click OK so now you'll see that it's filled in the uh, object size here for me and that'll do that for any object in your object browser or your custom or to-do list that has a size on it uh, not all of them do in the extended objects list and many of your imported ones in your customer to do may not have them so you either have to go in and manually fill them in there or you can manually fill it in here uh, that's up to you um, next we have the uh, settings for your CCD or CMOS camera now when you're using a DSLR if this is grayed out you won't need it and that's simply because with a with a Canon or Nikon sensor you've used the whole sensor all the time you have no choice in that uh, but with a CD, CCD or CMOS camera you can have a region of interest an ROI and you need to set this to match the ROI if you're using it so the simplest way to do that, this is my default size here. Uh, buttons 1 and 2 over here can save profiles by shifting and uh, sh holding down shift and clicking on it. So I'm going to save this one to number 1. So that's my default setup. Now if I use a half uh, uh, region of interest, I need to change my width and height to match that. Otherwise plate solving will fail again. So in here that'll be uh, 9.6 for the uh, width and 6.55 for the height and I can save that now by holding down shift and clicking 2 and that lets me switch between the two of them and I can see what it's going to be like um, they are talking and I think Ivo and Maria are trying to work out how they can automate this when you select your uh, region of interest and they're also trying to make region of interest um, set to be able to set by the uh, user to a specific size rather than just half quarter etc that we already have so that saves there but like I said that's only with a uh, CCD or CMOS camera you need that and ringy thingy down the bottom here now the last button here is recalc now when you click on recalc uh, what that does is in your log file down the bottom there it will put in the details of what it's got and this is handy for several reasons uh, it gives you your sensor size uh, height and diameter height and width in pixels the pixel size field of view uh, how many arc seconds per pixel your focal length and another important part is the CFZ this is the critical focus zone that's information you'll probably need when you're setting up uh, autofocus uh, that's something you need this other information comes in handy if you're like in Stellarium you're setting up your sensor in Stellarium uh, this gives you information you need in there so that's up to you um, sorry not up to you that's what you get displayed now I'll go back to full screen for this one um, when you hold down shift and click um, as I said I'm in get over there uh, I've got currently Orion selected there um, but what this does if you shift click on recalc it sort of does the reverse instead of showing you the object you want um, it will show you your field of view where the scope is currently pointed now mine's parked at home so if I hold down shift and hit recalc and then go to APT as you see it's now pointing at the South Celestial Pole and that's just give you an idea of the field of view um, whether you find that useful or not I don't know but that's how it works so that's it and that covers the object calculator small simple but vital uh, get this right otherwise your plate solving will fail and generally this is where people will make an error when their plate solving does fail but I'm going to end this video now uh, which is all clear skies and I hope you get a good night out soon I've been seven weeks now without a clear sky <laughs> so I hope other people are getting them uh, take care everyone talk to you later bye